I, I... <sighs> so, if y'all remember from my last part... I finally went to Econa Canyon. Which was actually pretty good. Except for one thing. I know I kind of had to do the Gibdo, like, trade quest, and you know, and... I was kind of like, you know, prepared. Kind of because, like, I had to look up a map, and also to find out which path leads me to the mirror shield, which I got. Um, another thing is that, like, I got everything I needed. I mean, really for real, so. The only thing that, like, you know, I had to get was to get the Gibdo mask, so. I had to get the Song of Storms before I head over there, so. Pff, like, literally. Had to learn the song right here. Then get the Gibdom Mask, which I got here. And then everything I had here, 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 in these three bottles, and this right here too, was to trade to the Gibdoms to give me access to the next room. And lo and behold, I got my trophy, uh, the Mirror Shield. So I went through a kind of can I mean, well, the castle. Just pretty good. Except for one problem, again, which basically meant that I had to use get a power keg, which was not a big problem at all. So, um, basically, I had to go back to Clock Town, get a power keg, go back, head to the roof, blow it up, go down, and basically head to the room. Now, here is the problem that I kind of, like, you know, did. And I mean it too. I'm problem which I need and I hate myself with this because what I did was I went in there text done get to battling and all of a sudden what happens is basically this I managed to beat his two lackeys and then all of a sudden like I shine a light on them then I quickly like use my arrows to shoot at the curtain and by I don't know how I how I did this shit, but I managed to actually play the cutscene over the cutscene I'm supposed to play when you defeat his two uh, lackeys. So apparently, I managed to soft lock the game, and I'm like, holy shit, balls! Like, I literally soft locked the game because I hit the arrow on the exact same. Like time, the cutscene was supposed to play when he gets out of the chair and has the sword and shield equipped. And I was like, oh my god, I cannot believe I did that. I mean, it was pretty good. Like, I saw out the game by actually, like, timing the frame just right to where the cutscene plays, but. I just can't believe I did that. I mean, what are the odds? And I mean, too, what are the odds? But anyways, um, I want to go through uh, two detours. So first things first, I need to get some things before I even take on the goddamn fourth dungeon. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get at least three fairies, just in case anything goes wrong, but I mean, I highly doubt it, because I have, like, defense. Actually, you know what, I'll just probably get two. Okay, now, next up is we're going to take a trip to... Southern Swamp it could be actually no wait we need to back to Clock Town because they sell green magic because I'm gonna need like, like at least two of them for the twin mold boss fight in case like you know the boss fight goes on too long then I have like a you know, backup I mean I know there's like green pots but I mean if I'm like too far away from it and I'm in like in a jam I definitely need at least some uh green magic or green potion
Oh, I gotta take out the damn thing. Hi. Yay. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I can. I need bombs. Because technically, this is like the last dungeon. Well, not last, last, but the last dungeon in the game. Should I go out and like see if I can find bombs? If not, then not a big deal. Canyon. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention too. I did manage to do some other things too after I, um, well after I beat the castle. But uh, um, after I beat the castle, I went ahead and like you know got like a couple of masks. I got the uh, uh, Romani's mask. I got the. Actually, I had to get the Garo's mask again. And literally the. Um, Circus Eater's mask. And then... That's it. Just a couple of masks. But here's the thing. Um... The thing is... Is that, like... Um... I hated myself for doing this, but I had no choice because I didn't want to go through that whole shit again. I had to use, like, some sheets in the emulator to actually, like... Um... To get everything I lost. Well, not everything. Because I didn't want to do that shit, but I had to. I didn't want to get the mirror shield back, I want to get like the mask I lost back. All that stuff. But technically it wasn't separate, you know, so you know, I just had to use the cheats to like help me get like the stuff I need that I lost to do the Gibdo trade well again. And that's really it. Not to mention use levitation, but eh, that's uh, how it went. Actually, timeout. Now that I'm talking about that, I should make sure it's off. All off. Okay, they're all off. Good. Because I don't want that on. No way. I forgot the damn notes. Oh. There we go. I wonder why I didn't register the first time. I actually grew to Lightstone Tower music. Whoops! <laughs> I need another mask. I mean, it just sounds pretty good. Not to mention, like, you know, when you get inside the temple, well, the tower, you hear, like, a bunch of, like, regeds, and you're thinking, like, are there redeads in here? No, they're not. It's just making a sound. I'm gonna go back down there. I mean, you can hear it in the background, but it's just like these boulders are like making too much noise. <sighs> oh, 
bra button. I really don't know why they designed like the statues like that for. But I think the most creepiest one is basically the Ben. Well, Link's like you know shell. I don't see Ben Jeff because like, I'm thinking I'm like, referring to the name of the fucking creepy pasta. It's old. I literally am not gonna lie. It's like an old ass creepy pasta. Take care of that damn bat first. Okay, so one of the buttons must activate one of them. So let's see. Nope. 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 Fake. These are the real ones. I know like many people had like actually did like a quick way which is basically just bomb hovering I mean I can't do that shit I know it takes a lot of practice but no way I can't do that <sighs> So really, really hope this one does not, not repeat, does not hit the one in the middle. Okay, <laughs> so I mean it didn't like it block anything, but I will have to block that shit again Look, I've got to turn to either Gorin or Zora But I'm pretty sure you still have a, have to move it otherwise it's not gonna work Because they're gonna just like literally run into each other out of the way now the thing should work 
But at least the good thing is, is that this is like only a one-time thing. Once you like do this whole shit, it's like donezo. Because of, like literally, once you hit like the eagle statue, then you don't need to go through all this shit again. You just like use Song of Soaring and just warp back over here. Okay, I don't give a damn about that. Okay, so we're almost at the top. Yeah, almost. seen a button anywhere. Oh, man. Actually, hold on. Let me try using Zora Link. Maybe that will give me like the, the reach. Wow. <laughs> Didn't even work. Okay, fine. Oh, I think I know. Okay. Because I'm here for the top, that's why. Yep, here we are. That would be the top. Talk for the world, ma! I get bombs, I get magic, I get arrows, and I get a fairy which just escaped from me. Oh, what the hell? Where? Shh. Little shit. That goddamn fucking fairy, dude. Okay, uh. Okay, that one should be first. I need, I just need to make check everyone. No, this one's first. If even when like you leave, I'm pretty sure you have to do all this shit again. Always like you know, hit the buttons. Put this thing on there. And, well, pretending that's only one time. Uh, okay, not that one. <gasps> Got the hiccups. Finally made it. Stone Tower Temple. Technically, there are two parts. Basically, the verdant and inverted. Right now, we have to go through inverted to get the one Ew. item we need to actually make the temple. Flip upside down. 
But first things first, my dumbass should equip this, so that way we can go ahead and find some fairies. Oh, the frog's gonna come. So, there's probably another fairy in here. Well, that is a fairy, but not the one we're looking for. I think from what I've heard, well, not from what I've heard, but from what I've known, is that Stored Tower Temple is supposed to be somewhat of a challenging temple. The reason why is because all the, the three, well, technically the three mess that you have gathered on your journey has led up to this right here. So you technically have to find, I mean, sorry. You have to at least use every single one you have to get through this whole damn thing. Okay, I think it's in a chest. I do remember that. I do remember some things in this one. Now I'm gonna need a lighter for this right here. And they're fucking back again. Yeah, this is the one I remember. Damn, we only take a hit. Why, man, I gotta get rid of these damn things. And there's no fairy in here. Mm, I don't hear any more. That's a good thing. That one, the big Goron's gonna have to step on that. to hearing that channel because you're gonna be hearing this shit throughout the whole time I'm in this dungeon. And all that just opened up a damn game. So on the bottom of that area um, are Armos, a big lava bed, which I know the Goron can go through no problem at all, and it's some treasure. No more key. Hmm. I didn't realize the goddamn thing was actually near me. This is a good way to save on bombs. It's just like, if you have the goddamn, like, uh, bomb mask, you're gonna be fucking fine. Cause all you gotta do is make sure you're gonna blow up something, you have no bombs, just make sure you fucking, like, use your shield. Got a dungeon map, that's good. Okay, 
I thought when you touch them, they move. Some parts in this dungeon are, are easy and some of it is hard. This one right here is like pretty much easy. There's the Igor. Um, I think he... Actually, no, 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 wait. You get the giant's mask when like uh, the whole thing's upside down. Is there a fairy in here? Yeah, there's one here. Oh, there it is, right over there. Oh no, never mind. I got, I, I kind of thought like you know there would be one right, right there, but hell no. Huh? What are the odds? And it's right in that chest. One problem, I'm gonna need the light arrow to get that shit. So, I can't do nothing here for now, so I gotta leave. Ah, this right here. Now this I remember someone being a pain. I don't think it is. I'm gonna need the bunny hole for this shit here. <laughs> you have to like literally rush over here as fast as you can to shine the light. Just right. Okay, never mind. Clink. Oh my god. Okay. I gotta do this right. I think maybe the inverted might be a little bit tough. Might be, I don't remember. There we go. We get a compass. The compass, the compass, the compass. How long that bomb just been there? Don't ask. Go for a little dive and see if we can find anything. No. Oh, you were gonna buy my ass? Too bad. Well, 
I'm not getting that. Ow, dumb fish. Oh, there it is. <sighs> Nothing here. For Goron. It's kind of funny, like the way they made it face. Eh. Yeah, you black fungus thingy. Shine uh, light, no war key. I got, I got these things like dark, not light. So I think one of these are fake and one of these are real. Fake. Get out of here. Fake. Fake. Bingo! Found the real one. Alright, finally got the first one. What the hell? Get out of here. Aha! We did a pearl. This one's gonna be a little bit tough. Oh, what I had it. Cause I have to like literally charge it up and then do that one over there. And that's why it's gonna be tough because those black fuzzies. I don't know what's the limit on how much they can like hold the damn light, but just enough to actually like, you know, do this right here. God. And it literally depends on the position of Link.
Yeah, turn around, man. Man, I hope this does not take me a while. beyond that damn thing anyway. A room? Okay, that's where I need to go. I just gotta let it charge up as much as it could. Yay, we got it. Fuck this room and it's stupid puzzle. Oh, come on. Later, what happened to my fucking iframes? This thing right here. So there's gotta be one, I think, on the bottom. And I know there's one in there. Hold on, man, there, chief. <laughs> we gotta hit that damn thing first. bearings of this place real quick. Mm, okay. Come on, I made that shit. Okay, so the bear is in that chest. All right. All right. Do this. That. And we're back here. Pretty sure the flame should be gone around that damn thing. It gets us like, you know, I did that so that I, I get quicker, like, back to the door. Damn, I thought I could have made that shit, but I now know the um the flame is gone around the chest, so I can now open it. Facing the uh, uh, the Gera on this one. <laughs> the Master Assassin. Damn it. <laughs> Come 
I'm behind you, dork. To think I could be defeated. Although my rival, you were spectacular. I shall take my bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. If you shoot that witch releases a sacred golden light into the bloodstained red emblem outside the temple, it shall rearrange things in which the earth is born in the heavens and the moon is born on the earth. Do not forget these words. Die I shall, leaving the corpse. <laughs> that is the law of Asgaro. Some crazy fucking law, I mean, if you die in battle or like you lose a battle, then it's like literally, like, for reals, you have to like literally like blow yourself up. Now we got the light arrow. So now this place is gonna become easier. But look, that's some cray cray shit. Uh oh. I'm shooting him behind his ass. Well, I gotta go down here anyway and check anything. God damn, it's a lot of stuff. Oh, that's right. I gotta do that shit. By your ass, you dumb bug. Eh, try. I think like mostly the like, un like inverted. I gotta take on Igor. What a read. Oh, thank God it's <laughs> motherfucker only took two shots. Don't ever do that again, it'll bomb you. Don't ever do that, it'll bomb you. That's already fine, the other fairy. I gotta make sure to get rid of this shit. Okay, there's a special place in hell for you. And you're going there right now. Fucking bug. At least the good thing is this like dungeon is generous and like the f like right here in the beginning of the dungeon like you're low on shit and it's like you just like come back over here and like you can do shit back. Where to go? 
All right, so I know I have to go back and like get everything I missed. Hopefully this gate is open. It is not. Yeah, there's a treasure up there, but I can't get it. So when I'm finally done with this dungeon, then I will have to do some mass collecting, whatever I can actually do. Not to mention, like, you know, complete the bomber's notebook too. I have to do that too. Where's that? Oh, there is a hole. I hit a goddamn pole while literally, like, there's a big open space, and in that big open space, I managed to hit a big pole. Big, wide, open spaces. There should be nothing. Nah, I don't think so. Hmm. Hello? Hey, not see that thing there. Damn. <laughs> Good thing I looked up. Alright, so Not bad I managed to find a couple of fairies Which is good So, I think Now's finally the time to actually Flip it upside down I did it again. Uh, this really Actually, no, there's really no point actually going up there. Yeah, there definitely is not. Alright, let's head back to the entrance. I was thinking in my mind, like, I had to face the stupid vampire, but no, he's in inverted. Check over here. Okay, is there this shit? I already did this stuff right over here. I know I got the ferry over here. Wait, how is it not a chest? Huh. Okay, that's weird. Unless it's like inverted. Oh, I didn't see 
that. Can I actually hit it from here? Yeah, I can. Okay, that made a ladder appear. For an unknown reason. I'm guessing, like, you know, if you fall down, then, like, a ladder appears right in front of you. Not that can make it. So... Oh! It's right here. Oh, come here. Thank you. Alright. I think I really exhausted everything here. I'm not... I bet I didn't go there. That's inverted. Well, I can always like turn it back again. And I really mean it too. I, I can do that. Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and head back to the entrance and just flip this motherfucker over. Hold it. I had not noticed that shit there too. It's like what they always say, common sense, it's like literally rule of thumb, look everywhere, when you're playing a Zelda game, look everywhere for anything that will help you out. Seem like I'm like to a switch or something. <sighs> nope, wrong one. There we go. That's the one. That is the one. That is the one. That is the one. And now we have made everything inverted. So the earth has become the heavens and the moon has become the earth. Oh, Link falls down, he goes into space. You know what? When they were making this dungeon, they should have said Stone Tower Temple inverted. Literally, they should have named it that. Treasure chest up there. Yep, 
Yeah, there is. Because I saw there's like a door over there. But anyways, yeah, like I think first time like doing this one here, it's like a little bit of a challenge. But if you know what you're doing, I mean, you're gonna like be a okay, as long as you remember like you know where to go and what to do, and literally remind yourself like the fucking pain you have to go through with a certain goddamn puzzle. Got controls. Does it come up? Yep, it does. I was literally about to say, I should save my light arrows until I saw that thing. Oh shoot, I forgot that one. Well, you know what that means, I gotta go get it. After, like, I go through some shits. That shit. My dumbass forgets to do the song. Well, actually, not dumbass. More like a forgetful loss. <laughs> Really aren't trying to do everything you can, huh, you dumb bug? <sighs> I don't know why it does that for. Literally, like, the fucking controls literally go, like, out of whack. Like, they really become, like, reverse when that happens. And really, it does. Oh my god, come on, game. I, I mean, I, I don't understand how I'm like, I'm hitting the fucking wall when I'm hitting the goddamn chest. I'm jumping. Well, I was hoping to make it without doing that shit. You know, I think I could probably do it quick. Like, I think I could, like, practically, like, um, Flip it again, get the chest, and, well, you know, just get the fairy that's in there. I could do it, no problem at all. I just, like, literally gotta leave, hit the damn red thing, and then come- Oh, wait a minute. If I do that, then I have to do the whole shit all over again. Mmm, that's not gonna be no good. Ah, <sighs> whatevs. 
And maybe it could be nothing. Maybe it could be like a... No, I don't think so. I was thinking like, maybe it could be like a fucking ruby and like, I just wasted my whole fucking time. Kind of sucks is I can't actually like do anything. I have to actually hit all these switches again. It's like only one thing and then pff, that's about it. I mean if it is a fairy then that's a good thing. But if it's like for like a piece of hurry, which I really hope it is not, I pray it is not a heart. A piece of heart. Then literally I just wasted time. Cause I mean I'm like I'm on a good pace, but I mean I know I'm trying to get all the fairies so that I'd be done with this shit. Okay, that's it. Um, how many more do I have in total? Okay, so I need to find three more. Once I find three more, then I am done and I can go through this whole dungeon without having to worry about finding a goddamn fairy. Because apparently, if you find all the fairies, you get a great reward. And that great reward is a brand new sword that is very fucking powerful than the guild sword that you buy fucking have. Okay, now we can do inverted now. Can you imagine like something like that? Like literally some kind of like magical switch and you need like a fucking light arrow to actually activate it. In which case, like, as we all know, like, the earth becomes the heavens and the moon becomes like the earth. Can you imagine that shit? Like, we were just really walking on the fucking like ceilings and shit. Like, no lie. Like, if anything would be flipped, like, our ceiling would be our floor and our floor would be our ceiling. Wow, that is kind of crazy. So I need to find a key. Oh wait, let's go over here. This switch here. Which gives me the key. That right there, I need a helping hand. 
Come on, buddy. And legit, that is the only time an enemy helps you get money. That's from that shit right there. Um, I... That was not intended. I had, I had not intended to do something like that. What the hell? Spamming flowers, open them up, up and down. Hmm. Ow, that hurt. I don't know if I could do this without by like, flipping that on. I highly doubt it. Yeah, that's like way too high. I was thinking in my mind, like, um, what if I just do this? What if I just like, like, um, huh. Remember how that only, that's the only room that comes Uninverted. I was thinking like doing the trick I did to get in the Great Bay like early. It was like use the bomb, use the Goron like ground pound, and then time to jump just right to like get me over the gate. I was thinking of doing something like that, but I'm thinking like it's not gonna work. Cause like literally to get over the gate to Great Bay was like easy, but trying to get over that thing right there, it won't work because it's too high. Very too high. Okay, so with this puzzle here, I gotta lead this block over there. At least looking for me, I have two shoes to like refill my magic and to refill my arrows, which is good. I link. Oh, <laughs> I remembered. Blocking it. You can see the stars. Yeah, you can definitely see the stars there, man. Hmm. Well, I didn't mean like him and him. Getting do like this. Okay, do that, do that, okay. I mean, I should have, like, time left, you know? And I mean, too. Like, I should definitely have some time to, like, complete the whole, like, uh, mask quest. Well, any quest I need to do.
Also, I need some magic from you, man. I think uh, beyond this door here should be another Igor. Nope, <laughs> it's a wizard orb. Lucky for me, it doesn't play the stupid like sub boss music. Oh, that's stupid. I meant to say, like, I doesn't play it. Uh oh. Might want to be over here. Because I did not notice that shit. I be, like, right here. I just have to stand in the light brown one. Right in front of me. I say if you want that whiz rope fight like quick. You have to make sure, like, you know, he actually spawns near you. Here we go. It's like, if he literally spawns, like, right near you, I mean, you can just, like, take him on. Do, like, a couple of hits, and that's about it. I wanted to shoot an arrow at it, not a hook shot. But you know what? I am wasting my fucking time, wasting this stupid, wasting my time, trying to kill these fucking po. Switch. I kind of figured it'd be one of them switches. Surprise, it did not hit me. There it is, it's right up there. Fuck. I was hoping to get all three of them. Sometimes I will get all three of them, but like, well, only one was left. But it's not a big deal. Like, it's literally not a big deal. Oh boy. Oh 
<laughs> All right, it's time for us to do some vampire slaying. And you know what I'm talking about, because we gotta take on a fucking vampire. And I mean to you. Lane's about to become Simon Belmont. I say using a whip, he uses a sword. And a shield. I mean, it is a vampire. Look at this. That's bad. Question how the fuck that missed me. Because this damn like scythe like slice misses me when I get too close. I really wish I could take his scythe, but the problem is it's too big. Taking no risk on that shit. Damn! Got a big ruby. Only one way to kill this damn thing. Ow. Last one is in there, so I gotta flip it again.
Yeah, got him. Got him. Or you know what? If I do find like another fairy, then I can like literally take on the boss and then use Song of Soaring to come back up here and then just do the thing again and then get the motherfucker. Huh, I'm gonna just do that. I mean, fucking simple. Yeah, there's another one in here. Mm, that's another flip I gotta do. Okay, so I think I'll probably uh, save the flipping thing for like another time. Cause I know like those damn like fairies are in there. So I can come back here again and like get them all. I just gotta come back to this damn room again. Alright, so here we go. The final mask. Twin mold. So the only thing I do is just have my arrows ready. Had a giant mask ready. And the only sucky thing is for the giant's mask is that it only activates in a special room. AKA twin mold room. <laughs> Literally, I mean, I have like magic, not full, but <sighs> I got backups. It goes like very differently in the 3DS version because like literally in this version here, you just use a sword and just go ham. 3DS version, you just use your fists and try to like, you know, like take them down and go to the edge of their tails and just swing them around and BAM! Slam them on the ground. I'm not lying, that's what they did for this fucking fight. They really changed it. Alright, so, uh, I'll say that's, well, actually, I gotta come back here anyway, get the last two. And that's it. The dungeons are now done. You know, just free the innocent spirit that this dark mass had kept in prison with the body of evil twin mold. And with that, the last giant is free. And would you look at that, I still got time. Well, we helped all of you. That's all we can do.
call us. That's what they're saying. Without being told, we understand, so now you'll help us out in exchange? We'll call you from atop the clock tower, so do something about him, alright? What? Their voices sound sad. You don't want to? Or give your friend. What do you mean by forgive, huh? What friend? Once again, Skull, <coughs> skull Kid. Okay, so now it'll be Twin Mold, and everything is back to normal. But, take a look. That right there is the evil gutters. Or the souls, or whatever, I don't know. So, in short, like, it, I mean, the curse is lifting, things are back to normal now. Nice touch, by the way. <laughs> but we're not done with Stone Tower just yet, because we have to get the other two that are inside the damn dungeon. And once that's done, that's it. It's done. It's over. All the fairies have, like, you know, given us what they want to give us. So, uh, yeah. Don't give shum 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 shum, you hear? What the fuck? Intriguing. Or as what Spike would say on Star Trek. Best thing. Or who said that? William Shit. I don't know. And I'm out. Perfect. That's weird. Well, it's like green potions. Yeah. Take a swig of the Mountain Dew. I mean, come on, literally, it looks like fucking Mountain Dew. Actually, no, wait. Mountain Dew is like a light greenish color. I don't know. Maybe some other green type of beverage. Well, anywho, just get this over with. I remember, like, back then, I used to drink that shit. Like, Mountain Dew and Mountain Dew Code Red. And until, like, you know, like, one day, like, uh, it was in school one day. And technically, like, one of my classmates were telling me, like, um, there's, like, a special, like, what was it? It was, like, a special, like, ingredient or some bullshit like that. Where, like, it's supposed to, like, kill your sperm or something like that. And I kind of believed that shit as a kid. And I kind of stopped, like, drinking Mountain Dew. Because, I mean, I didn't... I mean, I don't know if it's actually true or not. I mean, if it is, then... I don't give a shit, but if it's not, then so I'll take a swig. I really don't drink Mountain Dew anymore. I mean, technically, these are the sodas I always like to drink. Um, Sprite. Dr. Pepper, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Squirt, uh, Sunkiss, um, Sierra Mist, um, what else? Let me backtrack. Sprite, Sierra Mist, Dr. Pepper, Coca Cola, Pepsi, Squirt, Sunkiss, and. I think. 
think that's it. Only like seven. I mean, from what I've known. Motherfucker. Tell, can you fucking log into the fucking asshole, man? God, I hate these bitches. Fucking mosquito-looking motherfuckers, or dragonflies, or whatever. Ah, oh, we gotta go around anyway. But. Uh, yeah, those are like seven. I don't think I can think of anything else. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't know. I can't think of anything else besides the ones I just mentioned. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. I mean, I know there's like Sunkiss Orange Soda, but there is like Grape Soda. So, I mean, that kind of counts. You know, like a grape soda drink. I don't know which ones. Uh, what else? There's also a tropical punch drink. You know, but that's like, like literally, like an orange soda, grape soda, tropical punch drink. You know, I mean, it, it, it's like no joke. It is like literally from a fucking, like, goddamn off-brand. Well, not off brand, like an imitation brand of like the soda, you know? Like Big K, Dr. Dunder, um, Kroger, and like great value drinks too. I mean, pff, come on, literally. And I'm not gonna lie, like, their songs are actually pretty good too. I think for like other types of drinks, mm, I know there's like other ones like um, vitamin water. I like, but the one I like is either pomegranate blueberry and actually pomegranate blueberry and dragon fruit. Those are the ones I like. And then sparkling nice drinks. There's like so many I like. I haven't had. I literally haven't had that shit in a long time. But for sparkling ice drinks would be. Black cherry, cherry lemon lime. Actually, cherry and lime. I think I'm gonna just sell tower temple. Uh, let's see. Black cherry, cherry lime, lemonade, fruit punch, mm, pomegranate blueberry. That was so good. And. Cherry and lime, uh, blueberry pomegranate, lemonade, black cherry, fruit punch. I know there's fruit punch, and Oh, grapefruit. I like grapefruit. And, uh... I think that's it. <laughs> oh, compassionate young one. I am the great fairy of kindness. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. As things, I grant you the fairy sword. You got the Great Fairy Sword. With Black Rose's instant into it, the Great Fairy Sword is the most powerful of all blades. <laughs> and 
And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We're done. All four dungeons have conquered and all four fairies have been saved and all four powers are mine. So now we can go ahead and do the thing we always want to do. Mask collecting time. Alright. So let's start this show, baby. We're gonna head back to Clark Town. And let's see. What should I do first? I mean, I could try doing the postman head quest. I am at 3 p.m. So let's see. I know that the curiosity shop has the all night mask. I definitely do need that. And hmm. What else? I need to look. Cause I know this is the all night mask. This is well not no postman mask. All night mask, Keaton mask, uh Don Garrow's mask, the mask of sins which I already got. Uh, cafe's mask, um, couple's mask, and I don't know about this one here. I know I got to get this one at Goron's uh, village, so maybe I should just do that. Like, let me just. What if I just like go ahead and like head back to Snowhead and like get the mask? Like I know how to like get it. It's just basically that um. I have to like head to the Goron Shrine, light up the torches, or I could probably like, you know, take a chance and like use the ramp to launch me into like one of the Goron like faces, which will most likely contain a meat and I have to take that meat all the way back to Snowhead, well, the mountain village, and then throw it up there onto the Goron. He eats it. And then he's like regaining strength and gives me the Don Garrow's mask. And the Don Garrow's mask is basically I just have to find all the frogs. I'm not going to do that. But if it is part of like, you know, the Bomber's Notebook, which I don't think it is, then I might have to do it. But I don't think so. So let's just go ahead and head for... Actually... Hold on a minute. Let me uh, deposit my rubies. I think I have to get like a uh, thousand to get to the next one. don't understand is why doesn't he just like get down from the motherfucker like literally why doesn't he god damn it Goron
There goes that baby cry again. You know, I'll see your ears, chat room. <sighs> I'm gonna save your ears of the sheer torture and just put this little baby to sleep. Hope he doesn't play a cutscene. No, we don't. That's good. So I guess I'll just do it the old fashioned way, but I need a deco stick. But I don't have a deco stick, I'm supposed to do that shit. Now I have a deco stick. I have another deco stick. I mean, I don't know why they're shaking for. I mean, I lit the torches, so it should probably be warm. Oh, somewhere. Second try. So this is the thing we need, and we have to take it to that Goron. I think it's supposed to be like a rock, beef, pork chop. I don't know. Snowball again. I think I'm not supposed to drop it, or otherwise, like you'll break or something. I don't know. Dude, got you some food. 
Whoa. Up here. Up here. I'm sorry to bother you from such a high place. But I am very hungry and I have gotten stu stuck up here. That's it. It's so good that I'm dreaming about it. The Douglas County's finest quality of rock sirloin. Oh, rock sirloin. Okay. That's my absolute favorite. Blessed be this meal. Goddamn. I want to tell that shit. Oh, my energy has returned to me. Coming down now. Why you want to me? Oh, I wonder who it might be. Why, if it isn't Darmani, you're alive? Yes, I see. That's the reason why you know my favorite food. Oh, I almost forgot. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Don Gamerol's mask is ours. It was crafted so well that no one would even think twice if you were to write the frog choir. All that spring will come soon so I can hear the frog's uh, uh, enthusiastic performance. But as I might, it's still cold. I'm going back to Goron Village. All right, that's done. That's the mayor's place, so I don't need a, nothing to do in there. Well, I can't do anything because I need a certain mask, so that's out of the question. I'm just gonna flow, turn the flow of time back to normal. Okay, so I think, like, since I'm on the second day, this should probably play differently. Okay, here it is. It's right there. Okay, remember I said before, like, many parts ago, that this little, that this dude right here comes from over here? Or you're about to look at it right now. So there he goes, flying around. Passing the, the telescope.
I don't know, I guess you could say, like, I don't know, probably you know, like a small Easter egg or something like that. Nah, it does the same thing. So, let's hope that little Deku dude is still there. Hopefully. Because I'm pretty sure that like, what was it? He gives you something in return for not revealing his secret hidey hole. I'm sure. We're just gonna make sure he, like, that Deku dude is still there. Still here. Ah, what are you doing here? This is my secret storage unit. It's a problem if you came in here without permission. Please, I'll send you a piece of heart. You can just keep this place a secret. 150 roots for run. That's not enough rubies. Fine, this place isn't safe. I'll move elsewhere. Yeah, he just gives you like a piece of heart. But I didn't have like enough ruby, so not a big deal. I don't like him. I should gain every single piece of heart. I'm not doing that. Although there is one thing I am gonna be doing. Stole that ruby from a crow. Don't go stealing it, man. Too bad. I took it. Nah, nah. You know what they say? It's like playground rules, man. Finders keepers, losers weepers. <sighs> I mean, he really doesn't do anything. Like he just like does that same animation. I remember just that once and I was like getting worried that he might just get up and start attacking Link. But he really didn't. Like literally, he didn't. He just like he just literally kept doing the same like animation. Just like before during the first part, I'm gonna get the land title deed. Excuse me. And fuck it. Where are you? I'm just gonna go here and hey for the night. Night time. Mm. 
But we gotta wait until like midnight for this to happen. When can I answer this damn thing? Oh, wait, um, no, it doesn't open until 10. Well, technically from between 9 and 3, that dude's like out and about. So I mean like literally, like, he's like gone on a route. Well, I could probably get my more, more rubies. thing they improve on the 3DS version when you do like the double of time it's like instead of like, you know, like just like going to like you know like day from day to night and then to the night the next day and then the next day to like well you know how I'm going with this shit technically they did improve something with a double time in the 3DS version where you slide it so I mean instead of like waiting for like something to happen all you gotta do is just play the song, and it tells you, okay, so where do you want to go? Okay, so technically, this place doesn't open up until 10 p.m. So I'm gonna slide it to 10 p.m. This thing is 10 p.m. That's actually the greatest thing they ever fucking did. Was that shit? Literally. I mean, too. I know Psycho's supposed to be like, you know, coming like around here. Like, literally, he comes from like over there, and then he enters the curiosity shop just right as it opens up. And, like, literally, they have like a conversation because he stole uh, the sun mask, which is basically uh, Cafe's like mask. I entered the wrong one. Hi. <sighs> what do I fucking nothing? <laughs> this shit. No, 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 wait. Um, forget forgetfulness is kicking in again. I gotta do this shit over here. Sisters from our, our sisters. Our fellow performers from the troupe. They're twins too. They're twins like us. Can you believe it? I think they're practicing somewhere in West Clock Town right now. 
There are two sets of twins traveling in Garmin's trip of entertainers. I mean, what are the chances? I see the chances about one in a million. No, wait, made that four in a million. I always thought that that. W <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. First time seeing these dudes, I always thought that that was their mouse. But on closer inspection, they are actually fucking mustaches. A mustache. Okay, so this thing right here that's about to pop up in a couple of seconds This right here as a kid kind of scared me Because literally it, it's a hand that's coming out of this goddamn hole and like one, I mean, it was like, I was playing this game and then all of a sudden, like, just going around, and, like, it was, like, midnight. So I was, like, going around and, like, checking some things, things seemed to pop, and this, like, hand popped up and literally, like, scared me. And remember, I played this game as a kid. There were some things in this game that scared me as a kid. And it was that thing right there. Because I thought literally, like, if Link would have got closer, I thought, like, I don't know. I literally had a dream where, like, I was playing the game and all of a sudden, like, you know, like, I went in here and then all of a sudden, like, you know, I got too close and the hand just grabbed Link and just, like, took him into the hole. Literally, that was a crazy ass dream. Yay! This fell down here, I'll give it to you. Who? Well, that person has a tune notebook. Yep, unknown out of a jam. Ah, oh, man. The days of, like, you know, playing these sort of games and you don't even realize there are some scary parts in these types of games that you don't know. That just comes, like, as a surprise. I gotta, like, leave. But yeah, that's how, like, it was, like, back then for us. And I mean, too, we all got scared as a kid whenever we played these games. Like, we would play, like, you know, like, a nice, you know, kid-friendly game, and all of a sudden, like, the developers managed to sneak in some kind of scary moment. That's like, oh my god, that's creepy. Or we do something that, like, you know, that, like, activates some kind of, like, scary, like, cutscene or whatever some kind of bullshit and it's like literally we have like nightmares of that and I really mean to that's like really that's how it is for us when we were little Yeah, the reach for this thing is actually fucking big. I really want to get that old knight hat. I mean, mask. You know what? <clears throat> I think maybe the old knight mask should probably be on the final day. I think. Right now I'm just waiting for the stamp thing to open it up, but eh, I don't know. I'm 
literally trying to think, like, what is there for me to do? Does that mean, like... I don't need a sword person. I know it's the uh, mayor's wife, Cafe, Anju, uh, the mayor. Actually, let me see real quick. It has to be Cafe, Anju, uh, the mayor's wife, the mayor, and. Not this dude, because he's final. So. Not the postman, because I have him. So I think it could be like the. Uh... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, later you forget about that shit. This is tanking and why on There goes the postman, dude. Yeah. The thing is, I gotta get his hat. No, wait a minute. Hold on. Time out. I get the hat during the Cafe and Anju quest, if I recall. Because literally he says, like, I delivered, like, a special delivery so I can, like, leave. So, yeah, I remember that shit. Okay, so I think the, the, the postman's hat is out of the question. So, hmm. God damn, I forgot what this one was. I know this is the Keton mask. This is Postman's hat. All nine mask. Uh, one of these three is supposed to be the couple's mask. Cafe's mask. And. Shit. I don't know. I really don't know. I, I fucking forgot. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Well, I don't know, I'm like, kind of thinking about it, but I kind of forgot what that mask was. So, I'm gonna do this one more time. I know getting the postman's like mask is gonna be a tricky one. That's not what I wanted. I'm really not sure. But maybe like you know when I play the whole thing, I'll probably probably know. Because I think that maybe it is time to like do the Yan and Cafe quest. Like literally.
But first things first, I kind of want to see, like, you know, if the all night mask is on the final day and inside here. If it is, that's good. Because I know, like, the Anju and Cafe Quest literally gives you, like, the mask that you need. I gotta remember, I have to remember, like, what I need to do. Literally. Still here. I want to flee, but it's not really on the schedule. To me, delivery schedule is the highest priority. You need high priority letter. This is what I don't fucking get. It's like, dude, if you want to fucking leave, just fucking leave. Don't slack off. The heavens and the wife are watching. I mean, literally, dude, like, this is this is what I don't fucking get. If you're gonna fucking flee, fucking flee. Shop, open the fuck up. Ah, whoa, 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 little dear. I got any plans for the weekend? Hmm? Anything at all? Anything fun, exciting, whatever? Got something to do? Okay, fine, it's 10 o'clock. The fuck? have a bomb bag. <laughs> Alright, I think it's time to do this shit. And I play the fucking wrong song. So you know what? Let's just get this all away. We're gonna do the Anju and Cafe quest. I mean, I technically know what to do on that one, because like literally, you just gotta go by schedule, by schedule, by schedule. That's all. <gasps> I just remembered the Mask of Truth. Oh shit! I don't know how to get that one. God damn, I just realized, man, now I know what the final one is. It's the Mask of Truth, but the problem is, like... Where the fuck do I get it? I don't remember. I'll just put it back on normal. So, step one, acquire the mask. Step two, uh, show the mask to Anju. Tells me she got the information. Step three, 
deliver the letter into the mailbox. Then step four, I somehow have the key to the room. And then... Um, I think in day two, like, literally in day two, that's when they have the conversation. this thing to open up, so... Let me show you real quick. Nah, it's done. Seven back. Back to that Here, you fucker. Nah, he's gone. Gorman Troop, I have an appointment to meet with Madame today. Oh, really? Then that should be fine if you just go in. Oh dear, are you on a field trip? Or are you the expert person I find or I hire? Yes, yes, as I say, you have the face of a pro. The character is the person I want you to find. Yes, yes, I know them. The person I want you to locate is my son, Cafe. You know him? Don't you? You don't? Really? He disappeared about a month ago. It's terrible. I am so worried. I can't get food down my throat and I lost five pounds. Oh, gee, lady. That is so sad. You have anything, though? Oh, dear. Well, can you look for him? Yes. <laughs> oh, my. Of course. You're an expert. Well, I'm counting on you. You took the work of a pro. Alright, boys, we're gonna begin this shit. Boys and ghouls, dudes and babes, time for me to do the Anju and Cafe quest. A famous one indeed. Why? Because it's a very long side quest. Yeah. Oh, that mask. You two, you're also looking for camping. I think I have to wait. I think around... What was it? Four o'clock, I think. I mean, I'm sorry, gotta make sure to wear the mask. Please don't talk to me about a drop this plate. Man, she's literally telling the dumps. I already had lunch. 
grandmother, I'm Andrew. Torgus was my dad. And you haven't had lunch yet. I already had lunch. Now be quick and take that away. Not eating is bad for you. Please eat. Didn't I say that I already ate lunch, Tortoise? I'm impossible, child. Then don't eat my then don't eat my food. I give up. Ooh. Ooh. Er, would you like me to read the story? Wow. Okay, it's kind of because that's a little hint right there where she don't like her cooking. I'm pretty sure her cooking is probably bad. Like, literally fucking bad. So I gotta make sure that, like, I get the key before the Goron dude shows up. Because technically, the thing is that, like, if he shows up through the store, I gotta, like, bolt over there, you know, before he shows up and, like, heads over there. Because if I keep, like, you know, if I, like, touch her and he's right next to me, that's it. It's gone. I cannot get the, uh, the room key. I have down for an afternoon arrival. The room is our night chamber on the second floor. Uh, here's your key. Not sure why, but you barely had a reservation. Please relax. Okay, watch. I mean, you can really do it if he's like not close by. But even if you try, then yeah, it won't work. Literally, you're gonna be talking to him, and it just blows everything. Now, watch this one. I'm terribly sorry. I don't think it's a name. We're booked with solid reservations. Hmm. What reservation? Name is Link Goro. Mr. Link Goro? I don't have a reservation under that name. There is one close to that, but. What? Really, Goro? My own science matter, so I'll just sleep outside, Goro. I'm terribly sorry. You really don't have it, Goro? I really don't have it. Really, Goro? I'm terribly sorry. So we don't need this mess no more. Let me see if I can talk to the postman before like, it goes to night time. <clears throat> I can taste the peanut butter. Four, five, six. Yeah. What? Wow, you startled me. Do not disrupt my training. In my mind, I'm running for exactly 10 seconds without looking at the clock. I was in the middle of mental training. I mean, funny, but this is quite difficult. <sighs> but you try. Yes. Count 10 seconds and precise, you have to hit 10 on the dot. This is actually the most hardest fucking shit ever. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. <laughs> Oh, wow, come on. Oh, fuck. This is what charges rubies, bastard. Well, I can always get more. Alright, let me see. Oh, bullshit. Fuck!
<laughs> that one's kind of tough. Oh. So Majora's Mask does need the expansion pack for it to work. And Perfect Dark 2. So there were only three games. Three games that need the expansion pack. And that was literally... Um, oh crap, I gotta meet her. Literally like it's Donkey Kong, Kong I mean Donkey Kong 64. Uh, Majira's Mask and uh, Perfect Dark. I'm starting to trouble you late at night. It's about him, Cafe. I received a letter from him. Strange, isn't it? Getting a letter from a missing person? But there's absolutely no mistake, it's from him. It's clear to me. Please, here is my letter. Please put this in the post box. When his letter is delivered, when he receives my letter, you should be able to meet him. Please tell him that Anju is waiting for him. And please, after you've seen him, tell me how he looked. I'm scared. I, I can't go. Can I ask this of you? Thank you very much. Probably shy. Please mail it immediately in the morning. You got it. I don't know if I'm gonna make it or not, to be honest. Now the homeboy's gone. I was busy, like, I was too busy, like, paying attention, like, you know, to, like, what games, like, literally, um, use, like, the, uh, the expansion pack. On to the next day. So let's see. Uh, Donkey Kong 64, Majora's Mask, and Perfect but Dark. Otherwise, most of the game is unacceptable. Wow. So Perfect Dark can't be played unless, like, you have to, like, unless you have it. But usually, like, no joke. These N64 games always contain the expansion pack. I mean, Star Fox 64 had the Rumble Pack included with it, and technically the Rumble Pack, like, was like to keep your data, like your save data. 240. Turok 2: Seeds of Evil and Turok 3: Shadow of Oblivion increased two high-res modes, 40 by 360 or 480 by 232. Oh, Turok Raid Wars, same thing. Uh, Vigilante 8 enables 480 and 360 high res mode and a hidden 640 by 480 mode. Vigilante 8 second defense, same thing. And that is it. So, you know what? Maybe the expansion pack for the N64 did have some advantages. I have a letter for you. Yeah, we know Cafe has like the same animation as Link. Okay, that was fucking weird. Green hat, green clothes. Angie wrote about you in her letter. It seems you are looking for a cafe. Or a cafe. I don't know how you pronounce it. I would just say a cafe. Can you keep a secret? Yes. Angie trusts you, so I shall trust you. I am Cafe. Cafe we're looking for is an adult. When I look at you, I just see a child. 
I was turned into this by a strange imp wearing a mask, but I'm not hiding because I look this way. When I was turned into this, I went to see the great fairy in the shrine near the north gate, but on the way my precious mask, a wedding ceremony mask, was stolen from me by a prancing man with a grinning face. Well, you're just careless. You're like my partner. I resent that to tell. Before my wedding ceremony, I was quite happy. I was targeted because of what I had been turned into. Oh my, I pity you. I know Anju was worried, but I can't go out yet. I made a promise to her that I would bring the wedding mask and greet her. This pendant, give it to Anju. The pendant of memories. Though you may not understand these kind of matters, you should probably take the pendant to Anju anyway. Keep what I just talked about a secret from everyone. Alright. Did you meet him? I think this pendant will speak for itself. <gasps> it's from Cafe. Thank you very much. I had decided to wait for him. I made my promise. I'm fine with this. I believe in him. Okay, that's good. So, before we move on to the final day, there is something I want to do. Hopefully, I can get it. That was weird. I heard a. Okay. I heard like another door opening. I think it's at 10 o'clock. I think. Okay, here we go. You can see everything. See, everything here is falling apart. You can hear the voices next door. There we go. Here we go. Okay, Anju. We're leaving in the evening for the ranch. Cremia will take us in. She is your best friend, right? I wonder if Cafe is really at Cremia's, at Cremia's ranch. If Cafe is there, your mother will give him a smack. Besides, think about Cremia. She needs strength from a partner and business support from Madame Aroma. If Cafe really has worn enough for Cremia, she'll get both. Please don't be sad. How happy could you possibly be? Marry a man who runs off when he's about to be married? <laughs> He'll make your life unhappy. Just like your mother's. But in a letter, it said he definitely would come back. Huh. Come back to what? Won't this town be crushed by the moon the morning after tomorrow? Forget about that letter for now. Just try to survive. Everything else will follow. Yes, mother. Thank you. Damn, that sucks. I mean, it's just that she doesn't know. Like, literally. It's just that... She just doesn't know that, like, he's actually a kid. He was cursed as a kid. Okay, let's go. Oh, please, there. Fingers crossed. If not, then... Well, gotta wait until next Monday. And it is... Yay, we got him. Huh? You're the green hat kid? I got a message from Cafe. Now Cafe, I've known him since he was a real little... But when he showed up looking all young in that little brat body, I don't know what I was seeing. All it took was one glance at that Keton mask he was carrying for me to realize I was looking at my old friend. I gave him that mask a long time ago when he was just a little cafe. Didn't know he kept it well for so long. I'm not sure why, but I want to give this to you. Keton mask. 
Now, Cafe, he says he wants you to take this to his mother. Let's go, boys! Give an express mail. A customer came to my shop last night. Now, Cafe sees him and Cafe Color just changes and he goes running after the guy. The guy's a regular, a greedy, mean, a greedy thief named Saikon. I think he's from Ikana Village. Technically, we're gonna give it to the postman, dude. When the time is almost up. Okay, so everything is now set and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and head for Econa Village. Okay, so just to make sure it does go go, I don't want to screw everything up. Okay. He's not down there, is he? No, he's not. Fuck you, bird. Yeah, he's not here. There he is. I found him, Green Hat Boy. He's using his place as a safe house for keeping his go stolen goods. Apparently his name is Saikon. He came to the shop last night and I followed him. The storage for the things he's stolen is on the other side of this rock door. Only Saikon can open it. The only way in is to wait for Saikon to arrive. I'll wait for him. I made a promise to Anju. He will show up. Oh, I think he will. Yeah, I hear him. Cause I know you can hear the prancing. Go time, boys. Let's do this. And wait for me. It's all stolen shits. Oh, fuck. I should equip the great fairy sword. I'll probably do that after this cutscene. Look, there's a mask there. It's the sun's mask. Uh oh. Security breach! Security breach! Code red! Now I've done it. Step on that switch! What? Are you telling us what to do? It's some center where the door stays open only when the switch is pressed. Should be some device in this room that also opens the door. Oh, the mask. He 
He's trying to pull it out of our reach and makes his escape. We've got to hurry. Oh, it's basically easy as fuck. That's no good. This isn't the switch. Go check the other room. There should be some sort of mechanism. Please, there's no time. I don't like him, but is there a choice? Should we help him? Duh. Not moving ahead in the face of danger when you know it's for the better. It's just like tell. That's it. Let's go. Now you're talking. Oops. No, gotta slow. Red, bad, yellow, good. This Link thing is super easy. Yeah, you dumb wolf. <laughs> I didn't know that could happen. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it's ours now, motherfucker. I got the sun's mask back. Yay. There's still time. I must get back to town. So now after this is done, now it's officially midnight. And I have to use the song of inverted time. Oh, slow down time. Come on. Okay. Fuck. Okay. Now, let's see. Um, I think when I give him the, actually, no, 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 no. Um, let me go ahead and head for the whole the inn. Okay. Uh, no, this way. Oh, no, 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 he doesn't... Ah, oh, fuck. I think he shows us up in a little while. Oh, hello. You don't want to take this? Thank you. Okay. Um, I think he shows up, like, fuck, almost like a little while. Yeah, because it's going to take a while for him to come by, so... Um, let me, let me go ahead and head for the postman. Give him the fucking letter. Okay, got that. Because, uh, like he said, he he needs to deliver high priority. Or priority. How the fuck do you pronounce that damn word? Give us something to schedule. Hey, guy, I got you to deliver this letter. This is the highest priority. I shall deliver it. Actually, I think I can, like, make it back normal. Okay. Check this out. Because I think, um, Cafe shows up. I think an hour before the moon drops. Pretty sure.
So I think after this, I'm gonna head back to Andrew's room. Oh, fuck me. Come on, man. I have a delivery for you, postmistress. Oh my, it can't be. You're still here? T -t -t Tomorrow's delivery is still scheduled. What are you saying? Did you see the sky? It's terrible. But, but... Oh my, well, what shall we do? It's our cafe. Yeah. It's priority mail. I'm so happy to think good will come in the end. Thank you. You flee now. That's in order. Understood. Oh dear, are you right now fleeing? It looks like this is it for uh, this town, you know. You saw the moon, didn't you? It's gotten so huge. All the town folks have fled. You should flee too, far away. Okay, I don't need the fucking uh, cow horn no more. I mean, cow mask. Okay, so now he's gonna go over here. Excuse me, sorry. I have decided to flee. It is an order from the postmaster. I am now free. I can send my own schedule. I don't need this anymore, so here. I'll let you have it. Yay! A postman's hat! We got it! You save a trouble public servant. There he goes, running off. Okay, now, that is completely done with. Done. Okay, so the next step is to wait for a cafe to come back. Yeah, so basically this is based off a real life story that happened. So yeah, I hear right now. I'll probably tell you like when like after the cutscene is done. I'm pretty sure most of y'all probably know like the backstory of like, you know, this right here, but I'll probably remind y'all. If you don't know, I'm gonna tell you all. I, I have met you before. What a familiar scent. Long, long ago. Yes, we were still young. We made a promise, didn't we? A mask of the sun and the moon. We were to exchange them on the day of the carnival of time. And you, I'm sorry I was late. Welcome home. <laughs> They're lovers, but they look just like a mother and child. Let us exchange the promise mask. And there's the couple's mask. 
We have exchanged our oaths and have become a couple. You are a witness. Please accept this mask. And we're done! We got the couple's mask. It's filled with our love. Please take me a huge. We are fine here. We shall greet the morning together to give you a happy mask. Yeah. Fine here. I think that's all they just say the same thing. Yeah, almost a little bit of feels. Because literally, like, the thing is, the moon is about to crash, but they are now back together again. And they do not care if they are going to die. Because literally, they are now together and they will have, like, you know, their uh, little wedding ceremony in the afterlife. Damn, that's some cray cray shit. Okay, so here's the thing I want to tell you guys. So this is from like an interview, like a, a uh, from like 2015, and they were kind of like, you know, uh, interview was talking about like you know the development of like Majora's Mask and like the most famous like Anju and Cafe Quest, which I already done. So basically, it said, uh, let's see, only the one person. Uh, I heard Mr. Anoma and Mr. Kozomi also use other personal experience from during development. Anoma. It's always like that. They, there are really many cases when we had personal things at the starting point of production. The wedding of Anju and Cafe was like that, right? Uh, Numa, that's right. It was born from a Taedo Dong uproar of the time. Indeed, there was news that North Korea was preparing to launch Taedong missiles. Uh, Numa, we were attending a wedding of a staff member and we were talking with Kazumi and the others. Come to think of it, it's somewhat strange to come to a wedding in a situation where missiles may fall down today. The discussion progressed into knowing how it would also fit the setting of a falling moon and whether to do a wedding in the game. Now that I think of it, no matter where we go, we always talk about work. However, I didn't mind the time. Uh, let's see, let me see anything else. So, anyways, like, yeah, the Anju and Cafe Quest is basically from what I said right there. It was inspired by a missile crisis when the game was really in development. Because, um, from what it said, because, like, they were, I mean, North Korea was going to launch, like, some missiles in. Like, it was during, like, you know, like, a wedding of a couple. And it was, like... They don't really care, like, you know, if a missile comes and, like, literally kills them all. Because, literally, they're together and they want to be together in the afterlife as a loving couple who got married. And, basically, that right there is what inspired this right here. Because, if you take a look from what I just did, basically, they want to greet the morning sun. But, as you can see, a big giant moon is going to come and crash down on Clock Town and kill everybody and they don't care as I said before they do not care they love each other they don't care if they're like you know going to die they just want to be together during their last final moments and when they die they go to heaven as a couple a loving wedding couple as I said, it, these types of things are like, like really crazy, crazy. And it's still considered like one of the best. I mean, you can actually look it up on Google on like the backstory of this right here. And I mean, too, like, I mean, I just showed you like, well, actually, I told you guys the interview of it. So, yeah. So, anyways, chat room, 
Um, that's gonna be, be it for me tonight. I'm gonna call it. I will be back to be playing more Majora's Mask next Monday.